Hi, Caitlin. Congratulations on the new contract. It's a big boost for the Celtic support ahead of the weekend. Uh, hey, David. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, just buzzing to um, secure a future at this club um, that I know and love. And yeah, just can't wait to see what's next and how the season will end. We've been supporting the team for three seasons and we've gone from, you know, like 100 people watching up to maybe this weekend we could have 20, 30, maybe 40,000 supporters there. How incredible is that for you and for the team? Oh, of course, it, it, it's massive. It's, it's, it's a credit to the women's game in Scotland of how far it's come. Um, but it's also credit to the Celtic fans of how they're now seeing a badge that they will to do well rather than um, just supporting one team. And obviously this club's multifaceted and it's something that the club in general are just buying into. And yeah, just can't wait um, to see what Sunday holds. And obviously thankful to have secured my future at a club that's progressing so greatly in the women's game. You've played against a lot of teams that will part the bus against you. That's probably what Hearts will do on Sunday. Um, but what's the, what's the plan to get as many goals as we can? Well, I think we've not been... Uh, I don't think many teams have parked the bus with us too many times. Um, I think after they... It's about working each other out and we'll see We'll see what we'll do at the weekend. But thankfully, we have good coaching staff that will that'll tell us what to do and we'll hopefully be there to do the job. And it's not something we're going to stress about too much. We're just going out there to have fun. Um, stick to the game plan and fingers crossed we'll reap the reward of, of whatever's on the line at the end of the game. You know that Fran likes to mix up his tactics and things. Um, is there a chance that we can see you at centre forward? Uh, no. <laughs> he just gave me the nod and that was definitely a no. Um, so yeah, no. Um, definitely not a striker. Um, however, I will be putting in my uh, case for starting striker next season. Do you relish moments like this if we're going right down to the wire it's between the three teams? And have you ever faced anything like this in your career before? Um, I've probably not faced anything quite like this. I think it's a script that probably no one would have wrote up at the end, at the beginning of the season before it started. Um, I think relishing in the moment is something that you either do or don't and there's a lot of lot of things factors that come into whether you do or don't but I think one thing we'll all do is enjoy the moment um, to play the game with our teammates and to play in front of the Celtic fans and obviously at Celtic Park is something it's a dream come true for a lot of us so can't wait for that moment and just fingers crossed obviously everything goes the way we need it to you. And when you scored that last minute equaliser against Rangers just a couple of weeks ago. Was that a defining moment for the club, do you think, when you look back now and you realise that it's just the bare minimum that separates you all now? Um, I think there's been a lot of defining moments. Um, there's been so many defining moments throughout this season and, and grateful to obviously I did that moment, but there's plenty of other moments where my teammates have stepped up and also carried us across the line when, when a job needed done. Um, so yeah, as, as much as that moment is remembered and, and so great, um, I think there's many factors that have gone into to getting us where we are now. How much do you think uh, the, the Celtic team has improved this season, throughout the season? Yeah, of course. I think I think every team needs to improve year on year to get the results that they want. But I think the club in a whole as well has also improved um, to see where the women's team have started, certainly from my first year here to where we are now. The progression's massive and and can't wait to see where it goes. But yeah, of course, personnel changes and and a team adapts throughout whoever it loses. Um, but I definitely think this team is, is probably the strongest team I've been on in a Celtic jersey. And the, just the, the fact that, the, um, the, obviously, the men's teams have had a lot of success this season. Do you, can, do you, can you can take a lot of uh, inspiration from that, from the success of the men's team? Yeah, of course. I mean... The men's team have always been successful. It's not something they, that's surprising. Um, it's not something surprising when the Celtic jersey is represented in excellence and obviously holds that that aura of success that everybody knows when, when a Celtic jersey is in the room. And, and that's something that this women's team relishes in is the fact that we know we need to be successful. Um, you're already halfway there when, when you turn up in that jersey and, and hopefully we can do it justice on Sunday. But definitely thankful for the, for the men's team um, being successful, but it's something we're more than capable of doing too, just as good on our own. Alan McGregor, he was asked about your chances just 
earlier today, um, he said what an achievement it would be for both the men and women to win the title. Just um, how much would it mean to you at a Celtic if you were to do it on Sunday? Oh, look, it'd mean the world. Um, you don't have to ask me that question to probably know know my answer or any of the girls' answers on my team. Um, but there's wanting it and then there's doing it. And hopefully we can do everything on Sunday to, to leave the power in our hands um, by getting the job done on Sunday. Like I said, and I keep saying, we've just got to focus on the game on Sunday and, and do what we need to do, not focus on anything else other than ourselves and our own performance. And when that final whistle goes, we'll lift our heads and, and see what's in front of us. And if it's meant to be, it'll be. Um, but yeah, just thankful for this season and, and fingers crossed it can finish how we all want it to. And you've, uh, you've got the game back at Celtic Park. Was there a lot of player power involved in getting that game there? No, I think I think at the end of the day that the club wanted it here for the for the women. We they know what we've put up, like what we've done this season. They know how hard we've worked, and I think it was almost a you've earned this moment type of thing. Um, and I'm proud to be a part of a club that recognises the women's team in the way it does and the way it has. Um, and yeah, that it was the fans that were speaking. It's it's the buy-in of the women's team. It's it's the cl club in general that has made this this Sunday possible, not just from the f from the players' performance, but for the fans' investment and all things like that. So, yeah, just honoured to be a part of this club. So uh, you said you need you, and um, now you've got a, a potential title beside the coming up. Um, big week for you. How are you handling? How are you feeling about it all? Uh, it's huge. Um, there's probably not much weeks in my life that have been much better. Um, but like I said, these things are great, but the focus is ultimately on the 90 minutes and, and like me and my teammates, we've got to keep our heads down. Um, I'm sure there'll be a moment to celebrate what we've done, but right now we've got to focus on making it the best celebration possible and, and yeah, thankful for this week, but it's, it's, it means nothing if the job isn't done. Yeah, so speaking of the job, uh, you guys have handled the pressure really, really well. Um, of the whole season so far, but the additional pressure going into the last week, this would be the women's team's first title. Do you guys think about that, or do you try and put that out of your heads and just focus on the job? I think you've got to put it out your heads. I think your connotation of pressure is very negative, and um, probably something that you probably would drown in, if so to speak, if you were to be overwhelmed by it. Um, but look, we've got this pressure because we've done so well this far. We've done so well to keep this pressure on us because we've never lost a track or we've never lost sight of that title and, and credit to us, we, we, we've stayed up there. So yes, we have this pressure, but we hold it with, with integrity and we hold it with the fact that we've done so well to keep this pressure. Um, so almost like a badge of honour, we'll keep that pressure and we'll do so well with it. And then when the time comes, hopefully we'll the pressure will release and we'll enjoy a moment. But like I said, pressure is a privilege because we've kept we've kept it up and we've kept hold of it this far. Uh, we were delighted to hear the news about your contract today. Um, you mentioned your family quite a number of times when you've been talking about it. And uh, I just wondered um, how much they were involved when you were kind of deliberating where your future might lie and how pleased they are that you've signed for Celtic for the next few years. Um, well, my dad said if I didn't sign for Celtic, then he wouldn't talk to me. So it was either sign for another club and don't have a father or have a father and play for Celtic. So decision was made, really. So thanks to your dad. <laughs> No, it was just, it was obviously I take um, I take their words very heavily because they're my family, um, but they've done so well in directing my career this far and, and they don't tend to take too much ownership. Um, they let me make my own decisions, but certainly when I went to them and said, I think my future's at Celtic, it wasn't wasn't a conversation that needed to be needed to be had. It was more so of a nod and, and we move on. And, and that's what that's what we've done as a family. And and I'm proud to say I'm at Celtic and, and they're even prouder to say their daughter's at Celtic. So obviously just overwhelmed and, and obviously super happy. Great, and hopefully they'll be there on Sunday? They will be, they will be, uh, yeah. So they'll be wearing all their green and white. Um, so yeah, can't wait to see them and, and share this moment. Just, Caitlin, I think you've covered everything with me earlier, but just, uh, just uh, do you back yourself for a goal on Sunday? Say again? Do you back yourself for a goal on Sunday? Oh, I always back myself. If no, if I'm not backing myself, I don't know who is. So you've got to have self-confidence and, 
And if I don't if I don't get it in, someone else would get it in. So I back this team and I back myself to to get the job done and, and just like I have all season.